In an underwater paradise, a plastic nightmare. I'm going to tell you about a company. A huge, powerful company that's quietly doing something that affects every one of us. According to EarthDay.org, they are dumping the equivalent of one garbage truck full of plastic into our oceans every minute of every day. And they're getting away with it. In fact, not only is no one stopping them, but they are also projected to double that rate by the year 2030. And then by 2050, they'll double it again. We're finding plastic in the food that we eat, the water that we drink, even the air that we breathe. Outraged yet? Ready to pick it outside their headquarters, boycott their products, and demand action from the President and Congress? Well, that might be a little difficult. Because you're a part of that company. And so am I. That company is humankind. And together, we're dumping nearly 25 million tons of plastic into our oceans each year. Even though we diligently and proudly recycle what we can, only 9% has been recycled. That's a huge problem because plastic takes up to a thousand years to decompose. That's why we must challenge the President and Congress to address the catastrophic effects of plastic overproduction. The plastics industry paints a rosier picture. Since they were first developed, plastics have grown to make hospitals safer, surgeries less invasive, patient care more sterile, safer, effective, and affordable. Plastics have also made food last longer, improving health and safety to millions across the world. However, this year alone, 150 million tons of plastics will be produced that will be only used once. You've heard of that old saying, a moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips? Well, it's more like a moment on the lips, several lifetimes on our planet. That's because that straw or water bottle or plastic spoon will likely last a lot longer than you or me or even our great-grandchildren. You see, plastic stays plastic. It might break down and become smaller pieces, but it's still plastic, and it's accumulating in our oceans. In fact, by the year 2050, it is estimated that there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. We've all seen the horrifying images. Adorable baby turtles with straws stuck up their noses. Baby dolphins entangled in 50-year-old plastic nets. Seabirds strangled by plastic that once held together a six pack. We have actually had animals come in who have ingested plastic and we have seen them entangled in plastic. And while those images might tear at our hearts, it's the plastic in the ocean that you don't see as easily that is just as harmful. You see, plastic breaks down into microplastics, which fish mistake for food. One study discovered that if you eat seafood regularly, you're also eating 11,000 pieces of toxic microplastics each year. So microplastics, they're, they cover a huge range of sizes, which is one of the things that makes them so um, worrisome. You know, they are five millimeters down to, you know, maybe the size of a virus. We can't even fathom what we are doing to future generations when we continue to allow plastics to flow into our oceans. So what do we do about it? And I like to say that every day uh, should be America Recycles Day. Your first instinct might be to fill up your recycling bin. But when we're facing a problem this big, we need a much more drastic solution. We need to stop making plastics in the first place. We need legislation that can reduce the use of plastic. We need to put money into technologies to come up with other materials that work better with nature. Well, we need to see federal legislation across the United States that is uh, aiming to reduce the amount of single-use plastics that are being produced in our communities. Anna Wagner from Greenpeace puts it, think of it this way. If your bathtub was overflowing, you wouldn't immediately reach for a mop. You'd first cut off the water at the tap, the source which is what we have to do with plastic production. You see, we've already got enough plastic on this planet to last us a good long time. We've created 8.3 billion metric tons of plastic since 1950. That's the equivalent of 25,000 Empire State Buildings. And while you and I are filling up our recycling bins with plastic, big corporations aren't purchasing enough of that plastic to make new products because it costs more money to use recycled plastic than it does to simply make new plastic. 
So they're raking in the profits, and we're made to pay the price in the long run, with oceans filling up and microplastics on our dinner plates. I don't think it's worth it. How about you? Because remember that company I told you about? That company that's dumping all that plastic waste into the ocean? The good news is, you're not just a part of that company. You are on the board of directors. And so am I. And when we challenge the president and Congress to take action, we can change the direction of this company we're a part of and the course of history. We know that we have to take on the plastic pollution crisis. Plastic poses a risk to human health. We are supported by the ocean. We need some legislation in order to help this crisis. Ultimately, comprehensive U.S. federal action is needed. Thank you.